Welcome back again to another video on this channel. This time we talk about how can you limit social media use on your iPhone. Multiple different approaches. Let me get started with the most common one. Well, the first way would be to just use the screen time, right? So just go to the settings, tap on a screen time and enable it in case you don't have it set up at all, right? So enable it. And now you can set up app limits and essentially app limits is deciding which app it applies to and is setting up a time limit for even multiple different days. Like you might allow yourself some more time during certain days, but essentially after you cross that mark, you're gonna be notified that the time has passed and you should stop using it, right? So you can also lock it with a passcode and you can always just get reminded this way. Besides that, you also have the downtime, which is like the time spent using your device in a limited way. Let's say you don't want to turn off your entire phone, but you're going to schedule a downtime during which you only are able to use like the phone app or messages or something, but nothing else. So you can take a break from your phone. Now that that's a good way to, to just go about it. So that would be like the first way how I would recommend you to do it. The other one is using a shortcut, right? Because for example, you can start a new shortcut, which is essentially going to look like this. So you're going to start and create a new shortcut, which upon activating is going to get to the home screen. Essentially, when you activate this shortcut, you're going to come back to the home screen. So at first have that shortcut, then you can start a new animation and choose that whenever some specific app like a social media app let's say it's going to be facebook or whatever let's say that when this app is opened some stuff is going to happen right so run immediately i'm going to hit done so whenever this um, app is going to be open the shortcut which is going to get me to the home screen is going to be activated right away right so whatever now uh, when i find and click on the facebook I'm going to get inside is just going to come back to the home screen, which is not going to allow me to use the app, right? So this is very useful. I really like it. Whenever you want to stop doing that, you just disable this automation and you will always come back to the uh, regular mode where you can use social media. And also one less option is to use some kind of in-app methods. For example, in the Instagram, I believe there is some quiet mode and there is like a um, you know, you have to manage it, but you can set up some ways to limit your activity and whatever, right? So if, if you can find it, then definitely also use the in-app available methods to limit your usage, but it's more likely going to be the one outside of the app where you just set up app limits or something along those lines, right? So thanks all for watching. I'm going to wrap up the video right now. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the next one.